Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. It is apparent that I am at the Santa Cruz Surfing Memorial Museum. No, that's not the way it's said, but it said that it's a museum. But look at here. We are at the Santa Cruz Surfing Museum, and as you can see, it is closed. And the hours say it's supposed to be open, but we are here at the Mark Abbott Memorial Lighthouse. So it's dedicated to all those whose ideals are the beacons of the future. So as you pander up, you will see I'm right here in Santa Cruz where the fog is trying to burn itself off. So that's where we're at. We're gonna start our little trip at the Santa Cruz Surfing Museum. That should be open, but nope, it's closed. Okay, surfing was first brought here by the Hawaiian princess. That's right, you can stop and read that if you like. So how many dummies did it take for them to put up this fence? You know, that sign is there for a reason. So, yeah, stay off the cliff edge or you could fall. So I think somebody has fallen before. I don't know. There's a beautiful shot of the beautiful lighthouse. People from all over the world come here, you can tell. Just to watch the waves break. You hear it? Yeah, we're here on a weekday. Pretty quiet. Okay, so this is the peak of Santa Cruz. This is where everybody comes. When they come to Santa Cruz, they come to this little park right here and they peek over the edge. So let's go do what everybody else does and peek over the edge. See how close we can get. That's as close as you can get to the edge. Oh well. I thought you could see some water, but they're not gonna let you get that close. But there's a beautiful shot of the stairs. This is where the surfers go down. Let's see if we can do some zoom in. That's it, surfer entrance only. Okay, so it is apparent we are gonna make our way down this walkway, and we're not gonna walk all the way to it but we are gonna drive right there to the Santa Cruz boardwalk. That's right, each touristy city has to have a boardwalk. Okay, it is only on a rare cliff around here that you will see purple foliage, and this is that rare cliff. As you can see, the sun is hitting it just right for that beautiful purple of Prince of Purple. What? Well, this is where all the surfers enter the dangerous waters, but today they're nice and calm. But usually there's a whole bunch of surfers out here catching a wave. And there's some people driving down the, driving, walking down the surfer steps, but they don't have any surfboards. So is that legal? Ruff, ruff. A lot of puppies around here on these walks with the dogs. But here's one thing I wanted to show you. This is either surfers who have passed in the water or surfers who have just died in general. You can see it's got a whole bunch of old names on it. Good old Bob's, Rip, rest in peace. There's Zelda, Wally. So yeah, this is a enter at your own risk 
first surfer on wave has the right of way. Paddle around the wave, not through it. Hang on to your board. Help other surfers by Sam Reed. So there is a code of ethics to surfing. Don't forget it. Whoever gets the first wave rides it. Well, it is apparent right down the road from the lighthouse here. They do have a public restroom and they have this food and coffee little stand. So it looks like this is a popular spot to ride your bike to and get a coffee and donut. So right next to the bathrooms in that little shop here, you do have this real estate here, this little park with, in my estimation, let's get you widescreen. Look at that. That's millions of dollars worth of real estate I'm looking at. So this park is got to be worth millions, if you ask me. And you can see the butterflies, they own this place. Well, it is apparent that we're gonna go walk on the beach boardwalk pier. That's right, we're starting out at the pier. So uh, we parked right here at this beautiful parking spot right on the main front. So electric bikes, that's the way to do it. Let's go walk out on the pier of Santa Cruz. Come with me and see what I see. That's my new catchphrase. O'Neill was one of the first guys to invent the wetsuit. He revolutionized surfing. You see that wetsuit before? You had to have a big wool suit. Look at what those ladies used to look like back in the day. Yep. Wool suits to keep you cool. Now look at the surfboard on that thing. Look at that. You remember those skates? You hit one little pebble and you're down. That's right, that's exactly where we're at. That must be a good skateboard shop. I don't know. A real live lifeguard from Santa Cruz. Going out to her little perch. That's where she's going. Seems like there's no shortage of lifeguards. This is the second lifeguard I've seen in that amount of time. Oh, he's a lieutenant. Wow, lifeguard lieutenant. There's the old Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Well, it is apparent if you come out to the wharf, you're gonna come across the big boy. It looks like a pile driver and that's what greets you right here. So that must pile the drivers into the ground when the piles get loose. I don't know. So it is apparent that I have reached the lifeguard check-in point. That's right. This is why there's so many lifeguards here. You see, they're right up there. He's got a little overlook of this whole little bay here. So this is the lifeguard tower. Look, he walks on the roof and he make sure there's no trouble. So this is where the lifeguards actually check in for duty, I do believe. So this is the lifeguard headquarters. So who knew? Right here in Santa Cruz, the lifeguards. Boy, that's a big deal to be a lifeguard. Look at them, just like Baywatch, I guess. Well, I don't know who does it, but if you want to rent a boat here in Santa Cruz, you can rent one of these little boats. Come see this man right here and he'll rent you a boat. And they just winch it into the sea from that little winch right there. So here we are, boat rentals. Now, no relation to burnt rentals. That's who gets your fish. And this is the boat that they get it on and stay off of it, it's for display only. But display only. Oh, he's killing fish right there.
Well, that's about as fresh as it gets right there. Fresh seafood. <laughs> I love it. So it is apparent if you want to come here, it's like a dollar and every 20 minutes. So it's not bad to park here. We parked on the outside. I don't know, but there is plenty of parking inside here, but this is a Monday. So don't hold me to that, but I'm here right in front of bruised bowls and there's parking all over just on a weekday only though. And you can see that I'm so close to the beach boardwalk, I can hear it, but I can't taste it yet. Oh yeah, I kind of feel foolish parking way, way, way down there. Look at all this parking that is available on a weekday. So if you come over here, don't be scared to come back here and just pay a couple dollars to park. And I mean, it is a nice walk and all, so if you like to walk, that's good to park out there. But anyway, you can hear the roller coasters. Listen. The sounds of Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Okay, this is the problem when you come to a place like this. I want to find a good place to eat fish and chips, but almost every place says best fish and chips in town. How can everybody be the best? If everybody's the best, then nobody's the best. What's going on? So electric bikes, that's all the rage these days. Well, it is apparent that this octopus has taken over this backflow preventer. Look at that. Isn't that some art? But that is a working backflow preventer? No, the valves are closed. Or they're open. The octopus is not real. Okay, here we go. We got some uh, lobsters here. Look at all that fresh food. Yes, you see it. Crabs galore. I don't know if you see it or the glare. But yeah, it's all fresh. Let's go get some fresh seafood. Monster shake. That stopped me in my track. Well, it is apparent that I made my way all the way in to the San Francisco, Santa Cruz, San Francisco, Santa Cruz Wharf. I walked to the end, but look at, this must have some structural damage, that's right. All this restaurant, the Dolphin restaurant is closed. 
and all these people have reservations. So, the Dolphin Restaurant is closed because of structural damage, I do believe. So we're gonna turn back and we're gonna go find the best fish and chips restaurant. And if you look at that building, it does look like a ship, doesn't it? But yeah, and if you wanna use the restrooms, look at this, right here, secret bathrooms. But yeah, all that is structural damage. Let me try to peek around the fence here. Do you see any structural damage? Maybe it's just a lie, but that looks closed to me. I just heard evidence of seals down there, but as soon as I turned the camera on, the pigeons scared them away. I hear you, but I don't see you. Right outside. Stagnero Brothers. Okay, if you look real close, we're gonna use our zoomer. I don't know if you can see any of those seals down there. Or some call them California. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see one right there. There's a good California sea lion or a seal or whatever you are underneath this pier. Okay, if you want to see what a fire sprinkler system looks like, it's done by Rawlins. And it's a four inch screwed main, two inch screw drain, and this system is old, but not that old. But when you have a screwed pipe like that, well, that's old. Why do they play their music so loud like that? I don't never know. Now he turns it down. As soon as the video goes on, he doesn't want to be on video. Well, it is apparent that is Riva, and that's exactly where we're gonna eat, right there. So if you look at Riva Restaurant, that's exactly where we eat. I almost stepped in front of that car, and that's how embarrassing these videos can be when you are stepping in front of cars and then turning around and pointing as if you meant to do that. So there's supposed to be the best fish and chips in town. Let's go look at it. It says it right out front. Let's see the best clam chowder, the best restaurant, the best, the best, the best. Or, only for me, the best. Half hour wait. That's not the best, but it's not the worst. Riva, Las Vegas. Okay, it is apparent that if you wanna get a lobster roll right here at this specific restaurant, $32.95 for a lobster roll. And if you want some sand dabs, this is where you come. $16.95 for sand dabs. You never had anything else unless you had a sand dab. What do you do with a sand dab? You tell me. I know what you do with dabs. If you think it's all just tourist and fun and glory around here, think again. There is work to be done. So amongst the fun, there is work to be done. It never gets old. So this is actual profession, is a window painter. So she starts out, and now it looks like the window painters use magic markers. So there you go, right for your eyes. One fish. Thank you, Jesus. This man's intrigued by her art. You get this off? Yes. That's her art. And 
pretty good art if you ask me. <laughs> Worth a screenshot. It's like each, each piece of glass has its own unique art to it. So she's gonna have an octopus on one and whatever she wants on the rest. Maybe a crab, I don't know. Whatever her imagination wants. Where's my sister? So as I'm waiting for the best chips in town, it looks like we might have got the right choice because look at the line to get into this place. It's only getting bigger. But look at this classic car alert. That's right, look at this must be an old Volvo. Look at that surf wagon. No bad days. To do Santos, BK, Mexico. Look at that. It's rusted out a little bit, but that baby's in fine condition, isn't she? I think that's a Volvo. I think that's how you say it in America. Volvo? Oh yeah, right there. Volvo. Not a Volvo. Volvo. All right, let's see the front of this baby and say, like Adam the Woo says, look at the beam on that baby. Nice grill. Classic car alert, a Volvo, 1960 something. Still running like a champ. Post grip. I did not even take the time to realize right next to the classic Volvo is another classic 70s. So you got the 60s and you got the 70s, 80s model. I'll be darn. And then of course, next to that, we got the loudies and the rowdies. Okay, let's just see what the menu prices are here real fast. I'm talking real fast. I just wanna see how much fish and chips cost. I see fried fish sandwich, $18. Where's that fish and chips? They gotta be here somewhere. Soups and salads, if you want a good soup, $26 for a cappuccino, or whatever those are called, cappuccino. Philly cheesesteak, 18. Where are the fish and chips? They better have them. All right, I'll have to look. Okay, it is apparent. I found the fish and chips, $21. Or you can get the fisherman's plate and get some prawns and scallops added for $25. Or just the prawns and scallops, $24. Nothing's cheap, you know that. Well, there you go. We had the uh, fried platter. That's right, we had the fried platter. The fisherman's platter where it was all fried all the time and things have gotten busy out here. Look at this. So, uh, was it worth it? Well, I don't know if anything's worth it anymore. It was a little too fried, but the gelato was good and the food was good and the conversation was good. So, yeah, Rebo in Santa Cruz. So I was not the only one interested in the old Bobo. That's very a photogenic car. So, yeah, that's a good photo op. Well, it is apparent I have found my way to Bonnie's and this gentleman is playing this beautiful music. So let's go in and see what's inside Bonnie's. The best name, this side of the Mississippi River. <laughs> so, I don't know how to...
Well, there you go. The Santa Cruz Pier. That's correct. Santa Cruz, I guess that's not the boardwalk. The boardwalk is over there. We never made it to that far. We just made our way to the pier. So, hey, it was a good time. I think I wouldn't want to ride the roller coasters anyway, but let's take a look at the beach. There is a lot of people over there on this beach. So, anyway, we're going to end the video right here at the beach. And I will bid you adieu here. At the beach, the kids running in, kids running out. It never gets old. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Santa Cruz Beach Pier Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. Let me catch up. Catch up and mustard. Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. It is apparent that I'm here in Santa Cruz at this surf shop. So I figure I'd put the camera close to the chest and let's do a little quick walk around the Santa Cruz, what a surf shop actually looks like. Let's go inside, hopefully no one will say, you can't film here. Everybody always says that. Here's what greets you, the surfboards, and of course that Santa Cruz sign. That's world famous. Oh, they got the stickers. So if you want to buy a surfboard, this is the spot. Look at used and new. Let's go see how much a new surfboard cost. One new surfboard cost. You want a long board or do you want a short board? Let's go with the short board. Oh, that's a pretty one. $699, that's a good price. This is only $650. Hmm. $875. And how about for a skateboard? How much for a skateboard? It says, yeah, pretty nice. I don't know what the skateboards go for. 775 for that. All right. Well, it looks like they found something. Some kind of merchandise. That's what we came for, all the merchandise. And here's where we're at. Kowals. Kohl's. Kowals. You got the boogie boards. You got the dust. You got the surfer shorts. You got the camo onesie. You got the shoes. You gotta love it. Shades. You found one. Yeah. All right, there you go. Cowl's Surf Shop, Santa Cruz. I don't know how you say it, but you can get a cheap surfboard there. I saw that. So look at that. We got it. We got what we came for all the way from Santa Cruz. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Cal's Surf Shop Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. So we had a 15-minute warning a couple minutes ago, so... Postscript. Yep, we are walking right in the middle of the street in Santa Cruz and the seagulls are not happy. But before I leave this area, I thought I'd show you what is happening here at the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. You can see that it has all of these people playing and soaking up the sun right here. You've got your 
pretty people soaking the sun right here in beautiful Santa Cruz. I never made it inside the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, but well, that'll be another video. But you can see that they do have some construction going on here. Some brand new hotels or motels or something is happening here. So yeah, you can see that the Santa Cruz is gonna be like, Santa Cruz is gonna be one of those booming towns or it's gonna be a bust. Right? Right. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to our next destination on this Santa Cruz adventure. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.